Okay, nobody uh, freak out. I'm using a wide angle lens right now. So I get most of the um, scenic area here. <laughs> scenic area. Oh, it's a hot day. Anyways, um, this is my M30 E34, the 3.5 liter. Um, you can see here the heater blower motor dial. There's a uh, speed one, two, three, and four. Uh, the issue with these blower motors is they have this resistor pack and you can see it's just a coil or several coils that heat up depending on what speed it is. Well, I shouldn't say coils. Well, they are coils, but they're resistors. And depending on what speed you have, you got a voltage drop across them, they get hot, they start glowing, and you get your low speed, uh, medium speed, two medium speeds, and your high speed. Your high speed bypasses these and then your blower motor goes at full tilt. The problem with this is when you don't have a cabin air filter like I do, little tiny leaves will get past this metal heat shield and they'll get trapped on the coils. And then when you use the blower, those things will start burning. Yay! <laughs> Freaked the hell out of me a couple of times when uh, I started to smell smoke. Uh, I never saw smoke, but um, you know, I put two and two together and I realized what was going on. Since this is a fire hazard and I don't want to keep it that way, uh, plus I don't like the fact that there's only four speeds, what I ended up doing was uh, similar to what guys have been doing on the Vanagons, the T3s, they uh, install a pulse width modulated controller. So you've got your power, sorry, you've got your power and ground in, or your ground and your power in, and then you've got power and ground going to the motor. And then whenever I turn this guy, as soon as I turn this off of off, you can see there's a little LED light that comes on. And so it doesn't matter where this switch is now, this thing is powered up. And now I can infinitely adjust the speed. There's high speed. It's slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. I can still hear it, but I can't really feel it. And um, and this is, and I still have half of an adjustment left here. So the the pulse width modulated um, signal here. The motor is barely turning, uh, right now it's off, and it's not until I turn it about halfway that I start to hear the motor and I start to feel something. Right now I'm feeling a really tiny breeze, and it's about halfway, but from there, infinitely adjusted speed, and no more worry about uh, resistor burning leaves. Uh, obviously you have to run these wires and tuck this guy away somewhere um, and then uh, make it all usable you know I might put this knob in here somewhere so that after I turn it on I have the adjustment knob right here next to it um, if you want to do the same on your Vanagon or on your BMW um, you know if you run into any problems let me know but rooting the wires, tucking them away to make it all nice and beautiful, that's up to you. I can't help you with that. I'm just going to quickly show you under the hood where I tapped the wires and how I ran them. Uh, and again, you do whatever you have to do in order to make it work. Okay, so the blower motor is tucked in under here. Uh, it's covered with a bunch of plastic, so all I did was take the plastic off, drilled a little hole through the plastic, disconnected the stock uh, wires, from the motor uh, there's a little hole here the wires come through the plastic and then they just run along here underneath here and I used a stock um, grommet uh, come on. right there I just poked a hole through the grommet and then I ran the wires through and uh, it's a small enough hole so that when I pull the wires through it's a really nice tight fit uh, it's not going to let any water in. Uh, you can see here there's obviously a chance of water going in, rainwater or whatever. Uh, on my other car, which I did a similar thing on, uh, but not for the blower motor, but something else, I used a piece of plastic. Um, what was it? Like a, from, a, from one of those washer bottles. I just cut a, a rectangular piece and I basically just pushed it in 
like that so that it covers anything here. So any water that drops down will hit the plastic uh, and then just run around the, the little wire. And again, I only did that just in case uh, if you make the hole nice and tight or small and you get the wires in and a nice tight fit, uh, you're, you're not going to have any leaks. Uh, you can also put some silicone around it obviously to seal it. But anyways, that's a nice upgrade for me. It's going to be good. Um, it doesn't affect AC obviously. AC works as it should. All I did was uh, make the motor run at infinite speeds via pulse width modulated signal. Thanks for watching.